Hey everybody, I'm Megan Moore at St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center, and I'm here to talk about the most important thing in your world, you. Do you ever wake up in the morning and find that you have a shooting pain in your neck and ruining your morning? Ouch, ouch. <sighs> well, if you're like most people, you probably won't do anything about it. You'll just complain to everybody, like, oh, my neck hurts, I think I slept wrong. And then you'll take, like, way too many ibuprofen. Oh, my neck hurts. I take, like, eight usually. And then later, you're driving in your car, and you look over your shoulder, and bam, the shooting pain right in the back of your neck, ruining your day. What is that? But more importantly, what are you going to do about it? Well, let's say that you're most people. You're not going to do anything about it. But now fast forward five years, and you can't even turn your head to look out the back window. Scary thought. I know. But I see this all the time. Now let's say on the off chance that you find yourself important enough to listen to, and this may be a year later, or five years later, or my personal favorite. Um, I was in an accident when I was like 18, and I just never felt the same. But however long you've been living with this pain, you finally decided to do something about it. Well, bravo, because most people nowadays wait until their bodies are broken down on the side of the road before they decide to get an oil change. It's upkeep, people. It's loving yourself. It's literally fixing the problem before a surgeon decides he's going to fix you. So now you're in my clinic and you've got this neck problem and I already asked you the who, what, where, why, and how long questions and I stand you up in front of a mirror and this is what I get. Hello? Have you looked in a mirror lately? Have you not noticed that your neck is literally taking a nap on your shoulder? I bet you didn't because your little recti muscles that control your eyeballs are now pulling in all weird directions. You may even be experiencing a little headache behind your eye. Sound familiar? So now everything looks just fine to you, but to me, you look like this. And I say to you, I think you might have a little problem right in here. And this is my favorite part. You say to me, but it's this side that hurts. Ugh. No, that is not my favorite part. I hate it when people say that. But I can't tell them that. So I look at them and I say, well, it's always the loser that complains. And then they think that I'm talking to them. But actually, I'm talking about this muscle that is clearly twisting their body around at its will while the other side is being shredded and hanging on for dear life. So now who's complaining? So everybody, that was a quick lesson on pain. Where is the pain? I'll give you a hint. Not usually where the problem is. Pain is where the losers congregate together and complain. Pain equals complain. Pain equals complain. So the complaint department gets flooded in your brain, and your brain says, Hey, I think things aren't right over here, Megan. And your collective self, which knows all and is at one with the universe, peace, says to you, Hey, body, I think you're going to have to deal with that. But now we really are dealing with it. We're going to do something about it because you're in my office now and you have this pain and I can see that you have this problem. So now this is the fun part for me. I'm like a little muscle detective. I'm going to get you on my table and go muscle by muscle and see which one is pulling you this way. Is it your scalenes? Is it your sternocleidomastoid? Is it your splenii? What do you think is pulling in this position? Is it your splenius capitis? Is it your longest coli? What's pulling you? Sternocleido what? Lucky for you, you don't have to know every muscle in the body. That's my job, but your job is much harder. It's called listening to yourself, listening to your inner voice, your inner complaint department, and know when something is wrong and know that you have to do something about it. Well, what if you don't? Because everyone's neck hurts sometimes or something hurts and we all just walk around in pain ignoring our bodies all the time. Well, I'll tell you. Let me be a nerd for a second. Muscles need calcium to contract. So if your muscles stay contracted, what do you have a whole lot of? calcium. What makes your bones hard? Calcium. What builds your bones? Calcium. And what if your brain forgets to turn off the calcium waves and your muscles stay contracted forever? Well, then you get calcium deposits, also called bone spurs, or even worse, osteoarthritis. So let's catch ourselves here before we all get arthritis. If you've got a problem, you need to listen to yourself. You need to find someone who can fix it. Find me, a neurosomatic therapist, a muscle sensei, a master muscle manipulator. Oh, that sounds good. Megan Moore, master muscle manipulator. Right here at St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center in Clearwater and Tampa, Florida. 
Turn off the calcium, turn off the pain. Turn on the good feelings in your brain. When your body starts to complain, you need to take it for an oil change. So who's your doctor, who's your dentist, and who's your structural therapist? Because you are important and so are your muscles. So before your biceps need to be surgically reattached, or you need a hip replacement, you need to take your body for an oil change. Let's talk about those little aches and pains before they become big problems. This has been Megan Moore at the St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center, and if you know somebody in pain, please share this video and help them out.